basically um after you download this make sure you get the yuzu canary it's very important to get the yuzu canary do not get the the nightly the nightly version due to the fact that um it's still in beta version and it does not work and it doesn't it doesn't work triple a games at all it does not run triple a games at all so it's very important to get the yuzu canary and after that after you download the yuzu canary it, it will ask you do you want updates it's very important to put yes it's very important because yuzu is constantly updating well in my opinion it, it updates a lot like say for example they figure out a way to get Splatoon 2 working 100%. You don't need to download a, another user build because you already have updates, automatically updates installed. So that's what's so good about it. So make sure you guys click updates, yes, to update your system. And also, I think you will see an error because you don't have keys installed. I will show you guys where exactly to go to install your keys. Um, first thing you do is go to use app data, you use like this, app data, right here, Yuzu, and you go to, now, it's very important, you won't have keys automatically there, you have to create, um, a folder called keys, you make sure you go, you left click, press new, folders, keys, all lowercase. And then you will store something called part of keys right here. Now, when you download it, you're not gonna get on um, part of keys automatically. It works, trust me, I used it. And also, after you get, after you download it, which will take a while, you see, you make sure you put your product keys inside there is very important and after that after you put your product keys inside there it will not ask you that little arrow saying oh product keys not stop because it's already installed because it's very important for for this to make run any game so that's that's why it's really important to have product keys on your thing and also another thing you need to have the XCI of Splatoon 2 the XCI is Splatoon 2 I'm not gonna link it down below I will show you an idea of where I found mines. Just type in on Google Splatoon 2 to make a, I believe, a folder for the game. All you need to do is press new, folder, name it anything. Let's say, for example, I'm going to just name it B, B I. And wherever you got your game downloaded, you just drag it. Like, say, for example, I have a Super Mario Odyssey right here. You're just going to extract it to BI and just press OK. I already have a, I already done this for uh, another folder for my other Super Mario Odyssey. You see right here. So I don't need to do it double times. Because the reason why it's very important to do that, because I'm about to show you right now. But I go use your canary. Now. To get a game basically running, you gotta press select. You see, so you got I got it wherever you game you have a game located. I have Super Mario Odyssey right here, Platoon 2 right here. Let's say for example I'm gonna run Super Mario Odyssey. Oh I did it. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. That's not good. And you just basically select the folder. Do not click inside of it because you will naturally see nothing there. And that's normal. That's very normal to see nothing there. All you have to do is do right here, and then voila. And I'm gonna show you my conf configuration settings. Um, it's it's pretty simple. Um, make sure you follow. All, make sure you highlight everything I have right here. It's, it's really simple, and it's for all standard games. And this is for like creating your profile. You can have like double save files, all that cool stuff. And then have your volume to 79% because the games can tip, get loud because they're kind of buggy, I would say. And then controls, you go custom.